Somebody asked can her I to talk? sign can us. I, Go I, ahead. Can I, can I talk? Mm -hmm. So Monique is right. I agree with Monique. I, I let her take a little bit too much, you know, on her plate. Don't we don't we, we don't. gotta get this recorded right no, here? No, no, I'm being real. I, I know. I'm trying to capture this moment. Go can ahead. Put it on YouTube. <laughs> no, so I, I, I let her put a little bit too much on her plate, and it's my fault. Today, so I was complaining about you as always, and uh, Wait, what you say? Because <laughs> oh, no, what, what you say? Because I've been hearing a lot of complaining lately. We are growing, and I want to make sure that we grow together. And I'm like, who? Hey guys, and welcome to Little Blackbird ninety one. We're talking to you guys about Monique Samuels and Chris. Listen, we knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. This is nothing new. We have been talking about this. We reviewed. Love and Marriage DC, uh, the first season. And I said, the reason how we know this is going to come and how it's going to break down is because of her disrespectful attitude and the way she was speaking to Chris. Like, there was a lot of disrespect. Like, it it was it was insurmountable, the amount of disrespect she was issuing towards her husband, the way she spoke, the way she had an attitude, the way she had always a problem with everything that he ever did. And I said, we are going to struggle in any in any case, we're going to struggle to have a really good relationship if every time I say something that I'm going to try and work on with you, you're always going to have a problem with me. You're always going to have something to say about it. You're always going to be trying to uh, nitpick at something. Like there was nothing that Chris could do in that first season. By the way, I'm sure she was even one of the people that was helping with producing. So the fact that she was involved with the producer and still the whole video, we the whole season, we can see you moving mad with your husband. Yeah, you were asking for a divorce a long time ago. But we're going to break this down in a, in a few minutes um, and uh, we'll do a longer live uh, probably later on tonight as well. Where I'll give you guys more video evidence and stuff like that so that you can actually see how the relationship came to an end. But for now, we're going to do a nice little short review. If you're new to the channel, do me a massive favor. Are you seeing the gear? No, 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 no. Are you seeing the gear? Mineral gang, baby. Listen, if you haven't joined the team, listen, make sure you like, you share, you subscribe, you click on that bell button for notification little up lows. And for those of you who are returnees, you know what it is, baby. You got the minerals. You got the minerals. Listen, the mineral gang, don't play with me. Don't play with it. 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 Okay. Yes, I'm standing as well because it helps. I've been getting hamstring injuries the last few days. I don't know what's going on in my age or what, but I gotta stand. Okay. Um, so listen. Let's get into the video. Let's, let's get into the video. Let's play a little bit more of the clip. Um, if you remember this uh, video as well, and then we can talk a little bit more um, uh, about the ratio and why it came to an end. Let's have a look. Ultimately, it's not working now. And she's been asking me for a while to step up and handle certain things. I'm being real about it, you know? So listen, it is what it is. This is the thing. Or no, read no, you, you no, no, no. You but you, you, also, you also got to read the comments, baby. I ain't read Somebody that. said, did he just start doing that? No, this did has been being how you are. This is how it's been the entire time yeah, we've been married. We started, and I was about to say that. Okay. This is how it's been since we've been dating. So what happened was I used to be Chris's business manager. I was like working for him. Um, once we started dating, I started working for him shortly after, right? So in while we were dating, while he was playing in the NFL and everything else, I was handling everything, right? So in that sense, if I had to be the bad guy, if I had to look bad so that Chris could look great, if I had to handle whatever I handled, because not just because we were together, but because I was working for him, it was my job. I did that. So when we got married, before we got married, we had conversations in marriage counseling. And I basically said to him, this has to change because if we're now married, I can't keep covering you. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're the man in the house. Like you got to cover me. Like you got to. Mm -hmm. where I've looked at too, but it's been some situations where right. I, I, I should have looked at more for you. We, it it should have been. So we went into our marriage the same way that we were dating and doing business together, which was a huge mistake. We should have divided. Now, listen, look, I think any relationship like this is going to be a problem. And the reason why, because they started off on a power dynamic. And when you start off on a power dynamic, it can make it very difficult to shift the balance back into a relationship where both parties are co-equals in that relationship. You were his business partner. You were underneath his thumb originally. And now we come into a relationship where we're actually going to try and be co-equals. It's very difficult to do that. That's number one. Number two, that creates that can create an insecurity on a gentleman's part because he feels like, you know what, she's shifting and she's moving the power balance more in her direction. That can create her feeling some insecurity. He might be feeling like, you know what, if I don't shift the balance, he's going to always have power over me and it's not going to be a safe relationship. And so what you can get is two people actually vying for position of power because they're afraid of either giving it up. Um, no, they're both afraid of giving up something in relation. So she's scared that she might lose power, uh, that she will stay in that same position and she won't have no power or say in a relationship. 
He's afraid of giving it up because you know what? He's always had it the way he's had it and he likes it the way it is. You know what I mean? Um, and he doesn't know how it's going to be if she decides, if she ends up getting power. Well, we actually found out what happens when she gets power because she ended up getting her own bag, her own money, her own job, her own things and everything aside him and then went into radio and all that kind of stuff. And guess what happened? She wanted him to do more around the house, which I think every man should, by the way. Um, you know, do more around the house, do this, da, da, da. And then, uh, and then she was like, well, and now, I need to, now, and now I need you to find a hobby. Like the goalpost was consistently shifting and moving at every given chance. Like whenever she felt like she had got him into position, she's going to move him again. She's going to move him again. She's going to move him again. And, and the reality of the situation is when they started, of course, he too was quite selfish in the sense of, you know, uh, he's an NFL player. Everything revolved around his career which I totally get, right? But the difficulty is now when your career is over, how do we shift and how do we um, adapt to this new environment? That's a key question, right? So I understand that too. That is also very difficult as well to navigate as a married couple. So I'm not mad at the fact that they, they took some time to try and discover how to do that best. But what we saw in the show, what we saw in the show, baby, let me tell you something. Let me, let me, let me just provide a little bit more. If you don't remember... I remember this key scene as well that played. Um, it seems like every time you get with him, you kind of bashing me. That's not bashing. Chris I'm complaining. Saying. Chris ain't doing this. Chris ain't doing that. You know, lately I'm hearing it so much, so much, so much, and now you're sharing it with other people. I don't think that's cool. It's nothing that is trying to like insult you or even bash you. I'm just. I mean, at this point, listen. She, at this point, she was telling everybody how bad he was. She was bashing him. Yes, yeah, she was. Right. And when you get to a point where you're contemptuous over your partner, you're in the most dangerous place you can be in in a marriage or relationship. When you have contempt for your partner, a disgust and a disgust and a distaste for your partner, you are in dangerous waters. And that's where we found Monique. And that's where we found her regularly. She was in a place where she felt disgust and distaste for Chris. And you can see even in that clip that we played beforehand this moment where they're talking, you can see the disgust in her face. You can see it, right? She is not in that space of a loving place. No. Maybe you can say she was second time. And made it very clear before I even walked down the aisle, honestly. So, and, and we both acknowledge that. So it's been a huge effort on both of our parts, me to let go and then also Chris to pick it up for the past decade. And what you're witnessing now is Monique, who is... So there's a lot that's going on in that relationship, right? So, you know, she speaks uh, on her clip about, you know, it's been 10 years. They've been trying to talk things through. They've been in the same position for the last 10 years. It's like it's over and over again. It's cyclical. And the reality of the situation is, listen, I think they actually are making headway. It's a little bit slow, but I think they were making headway. The fact that he's even able to acknowledge the fact that he knows he has to do better. The fact that he's even make he's even, we've seen him on several episodes on Love and Marriage DC and on that clip as well there. Him saying, do you know what? Uh, there's some things I need to work on, right? The fact that we saw him working with a life coach, trying to get his life together, to try and do things outside of football. These off, these were movements of him trying to do something different. I don't think Monique, I think Monique was fed up. And I think because of the cheating aspect too, which we, you know, we, I won't go too deep into, right? The quote unquote allegations of cheating with the trainer. Yeah, that's also another issue that plays a part in this relationship too. Right. So for me personally, when I'm looking at these two, I'm going, OK, they 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 started off in a power dynamic. All right. She wanted it to change. He didn't want it. Probably He probably didn't want it to change. He took a longer time in resisting the change. She now got the change. And now the change has given her the green license to say au revoir. Bye bye. Hence why when we said about the whole them being separated for however long because they wanted to sleep in separate beds and separate houses or whatever, that this was going to be something that's going to help. I was like, it's not going to help. It's not going to help because you're in content mode and someone needs to take you, shake you a little bit and tell you, listen, hey, darling, wake the frick up. Smell the Kenko coffee. I'm not saying he's the most amazing man you've ever met in your entire life and he's a superman. But what I am saying is he's a good man, right? He loves you. He cares about you. He wants to protect you. And he's listening now. And at least, not, and look, I'm not going to say it's going to change straight away. It's not changed straight away. We know this already. But from what we saw from the show, yeah, you got a problem too. You think you you think your your ish don't smell, but we can see your ish does smell, and it smells big time. 
But I won't say much too about I think we should leave that for the live that we do a little bit later on, where we go much deeper as well. But you guys already knew this situation was a mad thing, right? So appreciate guys. Say look, say 